Hi and welcome to Vanity's Kitchen. Today I'm going to be making for you bologna gravy with potatoes. This is a quick and easy meal that you can have any time of the week. I've had many requests for this one. Like I said, not a lot of work, not a lot of steps. So what I'm going to do now is tell you a few of the ingredients and we'll get started. Of course, the main ingredient in this meal is bologna. And I got a chunk of bologna here that I'm going to be cutting into cubes. Not all of it, of course. You only need two or three cups. I got a full medium onion chopped in small dices. Some butter. We got potatoes. I'm going to have carrot as a side dish. And we got some pepper, uh, powdered uh, onion powder, some flour. I'm going to be using gravy browning. We'll talk a little bit about that as well. Salt is optional because bologna is usually salty. So let's get started cutting up our bologna and starting to fry. Okay, I'm just going to cut off a chunk. Um, so we're using the full, full bologna that we're going to be cutting into chunks. And you can buy that here in Newfoundland and like you said there's different brands that you can by, and I'm going to leave that to you to decide which one you like. If you don't have access to full bolognas like this and you just get got sliced, you could use the slice. It won't be as thick. Um, you'll only have little pieces, but you'll still have the method and the flavor. So what I'm going to do here now is cut this in chunks and I'll show you what that looks like. So I'm going to cut the opposite way. Have a nice sharp knife so it's easy to cut through. And then what we'll do then is cut it then the other way, but flipping it over and then just doing it in chunks about this big. This is a meal that we would have at least once a week. And of course, bologna in Newfoundland is known as Newfoundland steak because it, it's everybody. I'm sure there's, there's not a household that didn't have bologna at one point or another. Everybody got their favorites. So what we did there now is cut this into chunks. I got my pan starting to heat. I'm gonna put one tablespoon full of butter in there and then I'm gonna start frying up about, this is about three cups of bologna there now. You can have less depending on how much you want to make. We're gonna get this frying. Okay, I'm going to put a tablespoon full of butter in there and remember bologna is a little salty so you don't have to have salt but you know that is I'm going to leave that as, as your choice to do um, and you can have bologna for breakfast uh, with eggs you can make a bologna sandwich I got a bologna stew that I made there a little while back that you can access on Bonita's kitchen and uh, that one is so delicious. So basically all I'm going to do here now is let this start to fry, get a little golden brown, and then I'm going to tell you what's next. It's coming along really nicely now and it smells amazing. I'm going to be putting a sprinkle of black pepper over the top. I'm not going to be using any salt at this time. I'm going to be using some powdered onion powder, not onion salt, and uh, so pretty much all I'm going to be doing then, I already got my potato and carrot boiled, but I got about four to five potatoes, a full me medium onion chopped up into little pieces, and this is our local carrot by the way, and I got some carrot because I'm going to have a little side of carrot, I always believe in having three things on our plate. But really, this meal is just um, bologna gravy and potato, but you use your best judgment there. So continue boiling, uh, frying our bologna. My potatoes and carrot is done. And then I'll show you what's next. This was a nice and golden brown. My bologna is starting to get. So pretty much, when I get to that stage, we're almost done and then I'm ready to put in my onions. So it only takes a, a couple of minutes. 
for your bologna to get all nice and golden brown. So what I'm doing here now is taking the bologna out because I don't want uh, to be frying my onions while this is in there because there's not enough room in the pan. And I want for my onions to get nice and caramelized before I go into the next stage. So what I'm going to be using before I put the onions in is another tablespoonful of butter and then we'll put the onions. Okay, so now the butter is in. I'm just going to add in my chopped onions. If, um, if you don't like onions, you don't have to have it. You can just stick with the powdered uh, onion powder. Um, but uh, if you do like onions, this is what kicks, kicks this dish off to another level because it's so flavorful having the onion flavor in your gravy with your bologna. You know, so I said bologna, that's our Newfoundland way of saying it, but the bologna. So we're going to let this fly, fry. I'm going to put a little bit of uh, pepper into it and another little bit of onion powder on the top of my onions. There you go. I love the smell of onions frying. It's one of my favorite smells. Um, this is coming along really nice and almost cooked. You can see it's starting to get uh, tender and golden brown. So what I'm going to be doing next is adding in two tablespoonfuls of flour. I hope I'm making you hungry on your end because if you had this meal before as a child, this is the same now as then. It's so delicious. So what I'm going to do is add in two tablespoonfuls of flour because now what I'm going to do is make the gravy portion of our bologna gravy. So you're just going to sprinkle the flour on in over the onions that's already fried. You're going to mix it around like this until it starts to blend in through. And then after that, we're going to be adding in our beef broth. I'm going to be adding in about two cups, two to three cups, but I'm going to start out with two cups first. So we're just going to pour all this in, but gradually pour it in, I should say, mixing the onions and that flour that you just put in there. Just continue on stirring it until it all is thickened. And it starts to thicken, I should say, because it, it's got the bubble in there. So just gradually pouring in those two cups. So here in Newfoundland, we all love our gravy browning, and it got no flavor. It's just um, a dark substance that you will put just a little tiny pinch into your pot to make brown gravy. Um, if you don't have this, you could use soy sauce, you could use whatever, you know, you got on an OXO, um, just to turn the gravy brown. And that's pretty much all you do. So what I'm going to do now is add the bologna back into the gravy and let it simmer. Okay, so this comes, the final stage to your bologna gravy is the bologna. So now when you put it in here, this is dangerous because you don't want for the gravy to flick up over you. So gradually put the bologna back down into the frying pan and then uh, after I'm just going to cover it and let it simmer. So that's the final amount of bologna that's fried up. So pretty much all you're doing now is letting all of these flavors go back in together. Let the gravy start to thicken, the onions tenderize just a little bit more. And what I'm going to do is take my lid and put over the top and let that simmer. So here we are now pretty much ready to plate up our bologna gravy. I got potatoes here and some fresh local carrots. As you can see, they're ready uh, to pick out there now and I picked up a couple of them today. So I'm going to remove my lid and I'm going to show you what this delicious gravy looks like. I just put this to the side and now we're going to scoop up a nice helping over our potatoes and carrot. There's nothing like the pot boiling and having a nice feed of 
bologna gravy there is delicious. As you can see, just look, you just need a nice piece of homemade bread now, and you'll have it made. So all I'm doing here now is just putting a little tiny bit of green onion over just for a nice garnish. But this is as good as it gets. You know, our old-fashioned bologna gravy, um, simple and easy to make, and delicious. I'm going to have a little taste now. Mmm, so delicious. And all fried up and boiled together to caramelized. Mmm, takes me back to my childhood. So delicious. I hope you found this episode of Bonita's Kitchen helpful for you today for bologna gravy. And if you did, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And up at the top right hand corner, just hit the link. It will prompt you to what you need to do. I have over 150 recipes available on my website as well, www.bonnitaskitchen.com. You can visit me on my Facebook page or send me a tweet on Twitter. So thank you once again for joining me here in Bonnitas Kitchen. From my kitchen to yours, you have a wonderful day.